You can file this one under the heading, be careful what you wish for, but this may not be the final coaching search for Steven Ross and the Miami Dolphins. Many Miami Dolphins fans have said over the last few days that if there is a silver lining to this unexpected coaching search it that it should be Steven Ross's last. I'm not so sure. In fact, if I were a betting man, I would say he will go through another one before selling the team. Miami reportedly has a league-approved session plan in place should Ross opt to sell the team or an untimely passing. Real estate mogul Bruce Beal is the one in line and is already a part of the team's executive branch as the vice chairman and partner. Beal may be in line but it still may be a little while. Ross is relying on Chris Greer to make the decision on the head coach and if Greer gets it wrong, Ross will turn this over once again in three years. At 82 years of age, that would put him nearing or just over 85 and there is no reason to believe that he won't try once again to push for a last shot at a Super Bowl winning team. There are a lot of things to poke fun at with Ross and while many are deserved some are not. If there is one thing we can say, Ross isn't afraid to spend money. Will Beal, should he own the team be a free spender or will he be far more frugal? With the Dolphins in head coach hiring mode, there is no guarantee after three previous attempts by this executive regime that they can or will get it right. Ross talks it up well but he hasn't won just yet. Ross is running out of time but honestly, I don't think we are there just yet. If they don't hit on this one, they very well could be looking for a new head coach and a new general manager and while that will be extremely taxing, I can't imagine Ross handing over the team if that happens. I see him trying one more time. Miami Dolphins expand head coach search while Flores draws interest. The Miami Dolphins parted ways with Brian Flores but it doesn't appear that he will be without a job long and it could be a head coaching job. According to multiple reports, the former Dolphins head coach is being pursued by the Chicago Bears and the Houston Texans. It would be interesting if he took the Houston job who fired David Cooley after one season earlier today. Could he draw Deshaun Watson back to the football field? The question is can Flores put together an offensive coaching staff? For Dolphins fans, it doesn't matter although both the Bears and Texans play Miami next season. As for the Dolphins head coaching search, the list of names has grown. They now include Brian Dabble, Vance Joseph, Dan Quinn, Kellen Moore, Mike McDaniel, and Leslie Frazier. Jim Caldwell, Doug Peterson, and Jim Harbaugh are still popular candidates for the job. Under Stephen Ross, the Dolphins have not hired a head coach with experience as an NFL head coach. While not responsible for Tony Sperano, he did give him an extension after his failed attempt to lure Jim Harbaugh to Miami. He followed Sperano up with Joe Philbin after failing to land Jeff Fisher and then Adam Gase and Brian Flores. His track record is not that great when it comes to hiring coaches. Miami has no set timetable to find a coach. It took the Dolphins over 30 days to hire Flores although some of that had to do with the Patriots going to the Super Bowl that year.